Hello sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans out there. I'm here with another alternate league game. These have been uh, increasing a little bit in popularity. So I will have another game for you right here. We are starting September, so we're coming down the stretch drive here in my um, in my um, league, in my season. Now, if you've been following this, you know that I am the Chicago White Sox and um, that we aren't doing very well, frankly. Uh, if we go to league stats, can see that uh, we are in the Central Division and we are 62 and 76 on the year. We are the worst team in the Central Division by a pretty good amount. I mean, you know, um, eight games or so. So, uh, or no, more than that. What? What is it? Um, eight, 12 games worse than, or no, 10. 10 games worse than Kansas City and Detroit. Or roughly. But uh, we are better than the Arizona Diamondbacks. And as you'll remember, the Diamondbacks, um, along with Tampa Bay, and we are much better than Tampa Bay as well. Those were two expansion teams who I drafted for after I did the regular draft for the other teams. So they are really behind the eight ball. Uh, but we are the third worst team in the league and we are um, by a pretty good amount. I mean, I think the next worst team is still three games better than us, and that's Philadelphia. So we're not doing very well. If we take a look at the statistics, and I will really quickly take a look at our team statistics. And really, it's surprising because we statistically, we don't really look that bad. We're hitting 252 as a team. And you've got some guys with some good home run totals. You got DeSensei with 32 home runs and 44 doubles. You got Tony Oliva with 40 doubles and 10 home runs. You've got Frank White who has 44 doubles and 12 home runs. Um, George Wright is hit has 15 home runs, and uh, Ogilvy has 39 homers and 17 doubles. So. It, and, and like I said, team batting average of 252. It's not like that's horrendous. And then you go down and you look at the pitching. We have a 382 team ERA. So that's also kind of surprising. And I'm going to throw out a little uh, tidbit here. The uh, code word is Jackson. So if you know what that means... You, uh, well, you, you could dig the actions from that uh, point on. Again, code word Jackson. Um, but anyway, we will take a look at, well, I mean, we're not going to take a look at anything else. We're just going to get into the game because we have a September, no, I take it back, September 2nd matchup. And we are in Boston. So, um... Chicago at Boston, there it is. We're in Fenway Park. They've got Tanana going. Um, you know what we're going to do? I, I've i got Boughton going, and I want to keep it like that. But I'm going to put in some extras, some guys that don't usually play. I mean, we're not a good team anyway. So let's see who we got at first. We got Alonzo at first. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take him out. But we will put Dave Collins in it right field for Oliva. We will play uh, Griffey in center instead of right. And um, we're going to play Martin at catcher instead of um, instead of Fisk. I mean, Fisk isn't having a good year anyway. So, uh, let's see. Anybody else we want to get in there? Um, second base, yeah, we're going to put Birdie in at second base for White. I think that's about all I'm going to do. I, that's all I really want to do there. I don't want to go too far with it. Um, and uh, and Bouton on the mound. 
Jim Boughton, Ball 4 author, is going to be on the mound for us. And so let's get this thing underway. I think we're ready to go. So uh, you just saw the lineup, uh, the way it was. Uh, I've got Anderson at shortstop leading off, then Collins in right field, Alonzo at first, Ogilvy in left, DeCincey at third, Birdie at second, Griffey in center, Martin at catcher, and Boughton the pitcher. And uh, for the um, Boston Red Sox, they're going to have Semyon at second base, Upshaw at first, Gary Ward in right, Gorman, Storm, and Thomas in center field, uh, Willie Adamas at shortstop, Brooks Robinson at third, um, Bob Boone at catcher, and Brian Mitchell in left field with Tanana pitching. So, I mean, no wonder this team is much better than we are. The Boston is actually second in the American League East right now. And so we've got Tim Anderson leading off. And he's going to get a leadoff single right up the middle. So Dave Collins, my main man Dave Collins is up. And he is going to hit a ground ball to shortstop. So now he is going to be the runner at first. Uh, surprisingly bad steal percentage there, 45%. So we're going to go with letting Alonzo hit, and he gets hit by the pitch. So that had to sting since it was Tanana throwing the pitch. And you got Ben Ogilvy up. And Ben Ogilvy is going to get a base hit to load the bases. So we got bases loaded to Sensei. And uh, like I said, to Sensei having a great year, 32 homers, 44 doubles. But he's going to whiff, whiffalize right there. And we've got John Birdie up, and he is going to strike out too. So Tanana, the strikeout pitcher, comes back and uh, does a big job on us there. Semyon is going to fly out the first batter for Boston, and Boughton gets him to fly out to right. Willie Upshaw is up, and he's going to strike out. Boughton with that knuckleball gets him. And Gary Ward is the batter with two down. And he's going to ground it out to Anderson, but Anderson couldn't get to it. So it's a base hit. And that brings up Storm and Gorman. And Storm and Gorman's going to get a base hit. So the first, uh, or the, um, well, the first two guys for Boston are on base, not the first two guys that have come up. But that is the first two guys that have reached. And there's a walk to load the bases, so Boughton finds himself in the same situation that Tanana was in, in the top of the first, and he does the same thing. He wiggles out of it. So we got Ken Griffey is up. Ken Griffey Sr., not Junior. If we had Junior, that would be great, but we don't. And he's going to ground out to Upshaw. J.C. Martin is in and playing for Fisk, and he's ripping a double, probably better than what Fisk would have done. So we've got a man at second and Boughton up. I'm just going to let him hit. I mean, I know his chances aren't really good, and they aren't because he strikes out. And Tim Anderson's up. He got a single in the first inning, but he's going to ground out here. So that was huge, and now you've got Boughton pitching to Bob Boone. Not a great hitter, but he was a great defensive catcher, and he's going to bounce out to second, which brings up Bobby Mitchell. And I, I, I guess I called him Brian Mitchell, maybe, in the uh, opening. But anyway, that's two down, and now he's pitching a Tanana. Should be an easy out. But no, it's going to be a double by Tanana. Tanana takes Boughton, shopping at the gap. So Tanana's over at second with Semyon up. And that's going to be a single that's going to drive in a run. So they got a run because Tanana got a double, and then... They singled him home, and Upshaw is the batter, and Upshaw will be out. So, Boughton gets out of it, but not before he gives up a run. And now we got Dave Collins is the batter. He's going to hit the ball down to Upshaw, who is a good defensive first baseman, but still commits an error. So, he Collins is on, and that brings Alonzo up. A lot of home runs this year. He's got 42 of them, but he instead walks, and he was hit by a pitch the first time up. Ben Ogilvy up. He has a lot of home runs, but he's just going to hit the ball on the ground and move the runners to second and third with an out now. And Sensei is the batter, and he is going to line out. 
So it's all up to Birdie again. Birdie finds himself in this situation again and strikes out in this situation just like he did the uh, first time he was up. So Boughton is going to deal to Gary Ward to lead off the inning, and he walks Ward. Gorman Stormin Thomas is up, and he's going to walk. So Boughton puts the first two guys of the inning on, and... Uh, that brings up Adamus, who strikes out. So there's one down, and Brooks Robinson up. Brooksy is going to hit the ball out to Birdie. At least make the play, Birdie. And he does. So we're back at the plate here in the top of the fourth, down by a run with Ken Griffey Sr. up. And he's going to hit the ball out to Semyon, who makes the play. J.C. Martin is the batter, and he's going to ground out to first base. And that brings up Boughton, who was out last time, and this time strikes out. So Boughton goes back out to the mound, trying to defend a one nothing uh, deficit and not make it any worse. There's a fly ball to left. Ogilvy hones in on it, but, and he does catch it. So Mitchell is up. Mitchell up with nobody on, and he's going to ground out to Alonzo. Which brings up Tanana. Now, not an easy out as we saw last time, but this time he does pop out. And Boughton is pitching pretty well here through four. We go to the top of the fifth and the top of our lineup. And um, there is a ground ball by Anderson out to second at Semyon. And Semyon makes the play, gets to the ball. Dave Collins up. And Dave Collins walks. I think he's been on every time he's been up. Alonzo is the batter, and he's going to single. And he's going to be possibly moving Collins, and he does, to third. So runners are at the corners. There is one down, and Ogilvy is the batter. And he is going to hit the ball out to Semyon, which is going to be a double play. you got to believe, and it is. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. We're still only losing one nothing here to Boston, the much better Boston Red Sox. And Semyon rips a single, which brings up Upshaw. We're going to throw for the runner, but we don't get him. And he moves over to third on a bad throw. So that's going to be a fly ball to center. We'll see if Griffey can make the play and stop the run from scoring, but he can't. So it is 2 nut. Gary Ward is the batter. And Gary Ward's going to ground out to short. It's a shame because... Um, Boughton is actually pitching quite well here. I mean, he came into the game with a terrible earned run average and terrible statistics, but this game he's pitching rather well. DeCince is going to be up for us here in the top of the sixth as we try to get something going. Fly ball to left. Mitchell is out there. Let's see if he makes the play. He does. Birdie is up. He's been up and out every time that he's been up, and he's going to ground it out to second and be out for the third time, and Griffey is up, and he's going to ground the ball to second. Semyon, not the guy to hit the ball to. So Willie Adamas is the batter here in the bottom of the sixth, and that's going to be a fly ball to center, and Griffey will hone in on it and get it. Brooks Robinson is the batter, and he is also going to fly out to Griffey. Griffey getting a little work here in, in the sixth inning. And Bob Boone is going to ground out to shortstop. I may have to bring some of those guys that I didn't play in later in the game as pinch hitters. Because this is a very close game that we could otherwise win. Boughton is up with one out. Um, but, you know, I mean, we're not really playing for anything. So I'm going to leave him out there, let him get his innings in. Um, and that brings up uh, Tim Anderson, who's out. And as it turns out, we probably wouldn't have done anything that inning anyway. We're in the bottom of the seventh. And, of course, you know, the knuckleballer Boughton, is, especially with all the time he's had off, because I think he has had quite a bit of time off, he should be fresh and ready and uh, willing and able to go an entire game. In fact, he said he could pitch um, two days in a row. Er, Two or three days in a row, I think he said in ball four that he told his manager for the Seattle Pilots. So that's going to be a ground ball, and now we're back at the plate. Top of the eighth, Alonzo is up, and Alonzo is going to be out. He had a really good chance of getting a base hit there, but he didn't convert it. 
That's going to be a fly ball out to left. That's Mitchell. Let's see if it can get into the gap and get down. And uh, it, it does. And Ogilvy is up at second base with one down. But DeSensei is going to fly out. And I'm just afraid that the next batter is, oh, no. Well, no, well, we're out. That is, that's it for us. So we're bottom of the eighth now. Upshaw's going to hit the ball out to Birdie. And he makes the play. Gary Ward is up. Gary Ward's going to get a single. Gary Ward is aboard with Gorman Thomas at the plate. He's going to hit the ball out to short for a double play, and that'll get us out of the inning. And Boughton is tired, but it's not really going to matter if we don't get two runs right here. And uh, Birdie flies out, and so that's one down. And Ken Griffey is up, and Ken Griffey is going to ground out to first. And that brings up J.C. Martin. And J.C. Martin is going to pop out. We didn't even really put up even a sporting try there. So we're going to look at the box score. Uh, we lose this one 2 nothing. Actually, very good pitching performance by both pitchers, especially Tanana. But uh, Boughton, you can't say he pitched poorly at all. He went eight innings, allowed six hits, and one earned run. Two runs, um, but only one earned. And uh, only walked three. So that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.